Picture this. A tranquil crater lake in Cameroon, mirror still under tropical sun. Suddenly, it erupts, not with water, but a colossal plume of dissolved methane gas racing downhill like an invisible avalanche. In 1986, Lake Neos unleashed hell, asphyxiating 1,146 villagers overnight. These limnic blasts defy intuition, turning beauty into apocalypse. Why do they explode? These meromictic lakes stratify. Oxygen-poor bottom waters trap volcanic methane and CO2 under immense pressure. A landslide or storm disrupts the balance, triggering rollover. Methane bubbles surge upward, degassing violently. Lake Manon previewed horror in 1984, killing 37 with a toxic cloud denser than air, pooling in valleys. Neos 1986 remains unmatched. 1.2 cubic kilometers of CO2 methane mix erupted, a 100 meter fountain blotting the sky. Survivors woke to silence, loved ones suffocated mid breath. Gas traveled 25 kilometers, sparing hilltops. Forensic autopsies revealed rapid hypoxia, no struggle, just eternal sleep. Nature's stealth weapon, amplified by lakes 200 millimeter depth. Prevention now. Swiss engineers piped degassing tubes into Neos, siphoning gas safely since 2001. Moneyun stabilized too, yet risks linger. Kivu in Congo holds 300 megatons methane, enough to eclipse Neos thrice over. Climate shifts could destabilize more. These lakes remind us, Earth's bowels brew perils we barely fathom, demanding vigilance.